Hey guys, it's Brian. Uh, in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about bathing after a spinal cord injury or in a wheelchair just in general. I don't have a, any special setup as far as a roll-in shower. I just have a standard shower stall. Uh, when I had this house built, this would have had a glass sliding door that I had them leave out, not install, because that would have made the transfer a little bit trickier. In the shower, I just have a regular padded transfer bench. I was able to kind of cram it in there. A lot of the times a transfer bench will sit half out and half in, but by getting it all the way in there, I'm able to get that curtain shut and keep a lot of water out from on the floor. That's another issue I've had with uh, roll-in showers that I've used, especially in hotels and stuff like that. A roll-in shower causes a lot of water to get onto the floor, and I don't have a shower chair anyway, so it's not like I'm taking my regular chair in there. I'm not going to get this thing soaked. So it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I have the upper body strength to transfer, and I think a roll-in shower would be much better for somebody who might be a quadriplegic or might have limited upper body strength that they can't transfer. So this is a fairly simple setup. All I'm going to do to transfer in is get at an angle, kind of like I did uh, pretty much for every other transfer that I've done. I'll scoot to the edge of the chair, and then I'll kind of grab here, and I like to get my right leg in, and that helps me with the transfer. I'm gonna put one hand on the uh, cushion right here and one over here and just transfer right over. So at this point, I can pull my legs in. One thing I really like about this small shower stall is that I have access, I don't know if you can see this right here, but this bar right here, since it's so close to me, it really helps me. Uh, I don't have any core sensation or control so I can't just lean forward without falling forward. So as I'm, a lot of the times when I'm washing my hair or something and I go to rinse my hair off, I'll kind of hold onto this and then go like this to rinse it off. I'll do that same thing to get my back clean and stuff like that. This is really nice. This is a longer extended shower hose for somebody that's sitting down in a wheelchair. It also has a shut off valve right here. So once I get wet, I can turn it off, you know, do the soap and everything like that. This thing's not spinning around all over the place, so that's kind of nice. And I typically will wash my hair first, and then I'll do my body and just rinse off. Um, I can, a lot of the times, just reach behind this wall right here, grab my towel, or I might have it sitting on my chair before I even get in. So that's really easy. As I go to transfer out of the shower, I usually take the towel and I'll lay it long ways across my chair. Kind of like that. So the whole idea is once I get out, I can wrap the sides around my body. So again, I'll do one leg. I usually get both of them out when I'm transferring onto the chair. Scoot to the edge of the chair. Kind of pull my legs up after that. And then I can just wrap this, kind of like that, across my body. And the nice thing about this is it's not rubbing on the wheels that much. So then I can go out to the bed and I typically get dressed from the bed. But one thing I did want to mention was when I was in the hospital, I was getting bed baths. Even after I came home and I didn't have an accessible bathroom, getting bed baths was horrible. I don't know if you've had that happen before, but it's just, it's very uncomfortable. It's very cold. You don't feel like you get clean. So taking an actual shower and feeling like a clean human, human being when you get out, for me, was huge. And it made me feel much better uh, after I got you know a shower that I could use. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'll talk to you soon.